Matthew 18 is also available as a remedy if both you and your husband purport to follow Jesus. It, Matthew 18 says, If your brother sins against you, go and show him his fault just between the two of you. If he listens to you, you have won your brother over. But if he will not listen, take one or two others along so that every matter may be established by the testimony of two or three witnesses. If he refuses to listen to them, tell it to the church. And if he refuses to listen even to the church, treat him as you would a pagan or a tax collector. If the one-on-one -on -one stage is too challenging, you may write him a letter or even send him an email. I'd stick to the main issues so that if he refuses to repent, it forms a basis for including one or two other believers in the next step. You don't need a long diatribe, just the basic points and supporting scriptures. For example, you could write, My dear husband, I love you and it is out of this love that I feel a Christian duty to discuss plainly the following sins against both God and against our household. 1. You refuse to put in an honest 40-hour week to help support the family. Scripture says, If a man will not work, he shall not eat. And, If anyone does not provide for his relatives, especially for his immediate family, he has denied the faith and is worse than an unbeliever. 2. Your ongoing porn addiction violates Jesus' instructions about lust. You have heard that it was said, You shall not commit adultery. But I tell you that anyone who looks at a woman lustfully has already committed adultery with her in his heart. My hope is that you can repent and give these things over to the Lord and take concrete and productive steps to prove your repentance with your deeds. But if that does not occur... My intent is to follow the process Jesus describes in Matthew 18 and invite one or two other believers to join us in a future conversation encouraging you to repentance in the above matters. Your loving wife, and then sign your name. If you lack Christian community that you trust in these matters, ask the Lord to send you some. You really need that supportive uh, community and if all else fails, reach out to me and maybe my wife and I can endeavor to further assist and help with your request. These approaches work, not because they make perfect sense to us every time, but because they're the instructions God gave in Scripture. And trusting and obeying the Lord Jesus is our best path forward. Let me also mention that if the issue is unrepentant porn consumption and it continues, then divorce is a biblical option that you should seriously consider. I've got another video to that effect. Praise the Lord Jesus for his instruction. If you see what I see, that the grave is empty, then you know what I know. Anything is possible if you see what I see, that the grave is empty, then you know what I